So, this time around, because I was clearly looking like I was forced to do a review last week, I made notes. Not that I'm going to look at any of it. Um, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Um, so, when Mika is, you know, brushing her teeth, she's getting ready, she's setting up a bomb, which we have yet to see what's going to happen with that. Um, and then this picture is thrown up um, on a projector. I thought it was on blinds at first, but then I realized later on in the episode that it's not. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's not creepy at all, you know, if it was Beth, but it's not Beth. It's actually, uh, what's her name? It. Um, I thought it was Crystal, because Crystal's got blonder hair or lighter hair, but it's neither. It is neither Beth or Crystal. It is actually Nikki, who I want to learn more about. I hope she does not just turn into um, that German... A German clone that just was like, hey, you're not Beth, and then get shot. Like, I want to learn something about this other clone. Um, I, I had a laugh a lot. Um, moving on, though, when uh, Ferdinand gets to the safe house with, uh, with S and Sarah, and he's like, oh, there's a kitchen here. And then he ends up making frittatas. Like, okay, you're, you're human, I guess. It's kind of random. Um... And then, so Allison and her theater buddy, you know, they're they're hanging out at a diner. She leaves. I unfortunately missed most of that conversation. But, um, you know, Mika shows up. Or not Mika. Um, the chick with the Neo something from whatever, when she knows Beth. And she's like, what are you doing here? And Allison's like, what? Because this is the second time in... Orphan Black History, as far as I can remember, maybe maybe the second to, that I'm gonna reference, that Allison nearly gets accosted in in a like in a public place. First, it was um, uh, Sarah's ex boyfriend when you know he thought it, he thought Allison was Sarah, and this time when this chick thinks that Allison is Beth. Um, and then of course she's like, "Oh, do you want to get some coffee? No, it, you can't solve everything with coffee, Beth." Um, yeah, yeah, you can. I'm, I'm with Beth on that one. Or Allison is Beth. I'm not really sure, but Allison knew Beth um, pretty well. So we're going to go with that. Something that uh, that Beth would do. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Um, so I mentioned, I might have mentioned last, uh, last review that um, Allison is super envious of Helena having babies and Donnie, you know, making that little scene that Donnie goes in to talk to Helena, who's like, oh no, I'm making a mess, you know, what's going on? And he's like, no, 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 you need to understand that Allison and me have been trying and we can't and she's kind of pissed that you can. So, you know, fist bump, good talk. Um, it was kind of random, but I guess that leads into Helena leaving, like nearly the end of the episode. Um, she at least hid her um, frozen babies in the yard, which is hilarious if Allison were to do some gardening and notice that. Um, but to see where she goes, this it can never end well, because she left, the first time she left, when she, at least she didn't light their house on fire, because she, le she left um, the farm um, after killing a couple of people, and lighting the farm on fire, she walked away, and then, you know, she found her sisters and whatever, but this time it's like, where is she going to go? Who is she going to talk to? How, what's going to happen to her? Like she's pregnant, for one. Like, it's not like she can do a whole lot. Like, watch her have a baby, like, somewhere random. Um, so that, that kind of sucks. I'm jumping ahead here. Um, oh, another, okay, so, you know how Mike, uh, Mika, I don't know why I call her Mika, uh, how, how Mika you know, does the video chats. And she's like, you have two minutes. Two minutes, because more than two minutes, you can track a phone call. Just something that just crossed my mind when she's like, okay, Sarah, you can talk to me, you have two minutes. She's like, okay, bye. And she signs off. No more than two minutes. So I'm wondering if, you know, maybe she was tracked at one point. Maybe someone tried to track her call. And... I don't know, two minutes does seem like a long time, but maybe not long enough to track. I don't have the details on that, so I don't know. Um, that noise is going to come out a lot while I'm reading my notes, by the way. 
Um, let's make it look like I'm actually looking at the camera when I'm looking at my notes and be really awkward about it. Um, so, okay, so again, jumping a little bit, I'm not jumping, but continuing on with the episode, I suppose, um, that Donnie and Felix, okay, so first off, Sarah's on Allison's back because Allison's not pulling her weight. Sarah needs to chill and take a step back because Allison, A, gave all the money, she's been giving the money since the beginning, and B, she's got a pretty nice, you know, stuff going on that she can work with. She she has the connections and she knew Beth pretty well, so I mean her playing as Beth actually is kind of hilarious. Um, but so, you know, Sarah's yelling at Allison and then Felix jumps in on the conversation and says, hold on, hold on, I'll help you out. And him and Donnie go up and they, they go to the, um, the clinic and they have to pose as a couple and that just, that's hilarious for one. Um, so, you know, Donnie's, I pretty much dubbed him as the best house been ever because seriously, he puts up with so much crap so much crap that Allison has to do. Since they've been very honest with each other, he just, he's embracing it with open arms. He really is. Um, but it's funny too um, that Felix mentioned to him, you know, need to tone down the gayness, basically. And that the percentage, was it like one in five or something um, of your friend, of your guy friends are probably gay. He's like, even in a, or not in a painted town. And Felix is like, no definitely in a painted town and I want to say a couple episodes ago or perhaps last season um, when they did have the um, like the, the other couples there or maybe I'm imagining this that's also entirely possible um, that um, that the like you had people there and they're kind of eyeing up someone and I can't for the life of me remember what was going on in the episode was it someone's birthday was it again i could have imagined it because i watch a lot of television well not a lot of television the lines kind of blur a little bit um but i'm pretty sure i don't know i, I i'm not pretty sure actually but i'm i we need to touch a bit more on this that donnie is like questioning and then Maybe he can casually bring it up in his Donnie not so casual way um, to his to his guy friends to the other couples in the in their town and see what comes of it. I suppose. Um, what else? Oh, so when Donnie has to um, give his sperm for you know being in the in the clinic, how he calls up Allison and Allison does the like the accent. Is just hilarious. She refuses to be a part of Sarah's plan, but she can easily pull off an accent. And she needs to get up on that, like help Sarah in more than one way and do an accent or something, pretend to be someone else. I don't know. But her talking to Donnie and them doing that is just like, oh, I need your help. Oh, I can help you out. It's like, oh, you've, you've done this before. Okay. Right on, sister. So that was... That was pretty hilarious. Um, uh, I have a note that there was a mention of Jennifer Fitzgibbons, mm -hmm. and I can't for the life of me remember the conversation in which that happened, but I like that they mentioned another clone. It was Oh, it was Sarah and, and, and Iris, I, I, whatever his name is, the dude guy, the, the caster clone. Um, that they, they're like, oh, this is what happened to Jennifer or Jennifer Fitzgibbons. It's like, oh, there's another clone name. Very exciting. And then also um, that, who was it that said it? Oh, that Sarah said it to this guy, um, Mike, uh, Mika's friend, who I like, by the way. I like him. He's, he seems very valuable. We need to keep, keep him around. Um, who can, you know, oh, oh, don't step in her trailer. She's got it, you know, booby trapped and, you know, don't do this. Watch out for this and let me hack this. And I like him. Let's keep him around. Um, I think he'd get along with Cosima pretty well. Um, clearly with Sarah very well. Um, but so Sarah mentions that there's 22 clones. They know of 22 clones. I can barely name 10. Cosima, Helena, 
Rachel, Sarah Beth Allison, Jennifer, Mika, Nikki, the German one. Oh look, I can name 10. I'm probably missing one, but I can name 10. I did not get 22. I didn't think hard enough, apparently. And I did not wikiing it either. So it's pretty good that I know that off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Oh, when uh, when Scott slipping on and off the light, it was pretty adorable that Cosima called him Scotty. Just had a note to put that in, and that's all. Oh, that's so cute. Um, see, this is bad. I my notes are helpful. I keep sidetracking and jumping around, and my comments to my comments aren't making any sense. So I apologize for this really not making any sense whatsoever. Uh, if it comes down to it. Um, oh, so when um, when Mika goes to kind of, uh, sabotage isn't the word I want, um, transmit, I guess, a note to, or a text to S, who, who S thinks it's from Sarah, that says, hey, have Ferdinand meet me at Beth's place, when Ferdinand shows up and starts talking to Mika on the computer, and then she shows up. I thought it was going to be another instance. Well, it almost turned into another instance. But I thought it was going to be an immediate almost instance like Helena did with her birth mother. Where it's like, oh, hey, by the way, just kidding. Look who I am. Um, but Mika and Sarah look very similar. Just wavy hair and longer hair. So I guess. Oh, and there's bangs too. I forgot about the bangs. So seeing that it didn't happen right away is actually kind of nice. But that also leads up to um the fact that she pretty much lit the impart was going to lit light the apartment on fire um she liked beth and i know she's holding some grudge and gonna do like some revenge the fact that nikki's gone um but seriously like sarah shows up and she's like hey i need ferdinand and we gotta do this and mika's like just i i'm sorry and she walks out and then it, of course, it cuts to commercial, and I thought that, like, you know, we'd come back and the house would be exploded, like, you know, pull one of those plot twist things around, and then we'd, you know, go into the next, um, you know, for the next uh, episode. But it didn't, and seeing that Ferdinand lives is fun, I guess. Um, I almost am very much looking forward to a reunion with him and Rachel. I don't know that it's going to happen, but I almost want to see them, you know, because it's like this hidden love, I guess, that they have for each other. And I want them to embrace and be like, oh, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. And everyone being like, oh, yeah, we knew this was coming. This is really gross. Okay, bye. Kind of situation. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Kind of looking forward to that. If that happens, it probably won't happen. I don't know. I'm bad with judging, I guess. Um... Oh, and then so the final like couple minutes of the episode, this was, this is a, the realest, the, the biggest thing ever. Um, that with, uh, what's, what's her name? What did I have? Uh, Evie Jo, where she's like, like she showed up on the screen. I'm like, oh, it's that person from that first episode or second episode with Beth. <gasps> like I had that kind of moment um, that, you know, she's talking and she's like, oh, you know, we, we have stronger and we have this and we have that and whatever. And I almost, I mean, you have the, the voiceover of the video, but I wanted to see like, oh, we have stronger babies. And you have like a baby, like lifting a car or something stupid, um, you know, to emphasize that that's what they're doing with the, um, the, the genes or whatever, however they're making people pregnant. They're, they're, uh, what's the word? What did he say? They're, um, quickening the process that wasn't the word that they used but that's pretty much what it sounded like they were doing they're going to quicken the process of pregnancy and it's like oh hmm hmm that can't be good there's got to be like side effects side effects and a, a thing somewhere that says uh that like you have to sign that says i will not sue you if this happens but don't worry it won't happen but it really does happen um so i don't know that's really awful that we ended the episode that way. I kind of like that we episode um, that way, but I don't. Oh, and one more thing. I have a note here that I tend to, that it actually skipped. Um, so uh, 
a doctor, a doctor, professor, Susan Duncan, she found out that Rachel is giving Charlotte the notes to like, you know, give to Ferdinand or whatever. How, however that happens, I have no idea. I didn't really think about it that much. Um, but then she's, you know, then Susan Dunn comes in and she's like, oh, Rachel, by the way, we figured this out. But we're going to take your advice and we're not going to kill her. Which I read as, we're not going to kill her, but we're going to still give her a note that he, she could give to Ferdinand to have him fall into our trap. Everyone is so sneaky. So sneaky. So, I don't know. The scenes, or the scenes for next episode look very intense. They all look intense. I am... That's how I feel. All the time. Clone show. That's all I tell people. Tell people, side note, whatever. Um, I tell people about the show, and they're like, oh, what's that about? I'm like, it's a clone show. Just watch it. <laughs> That's all that happens. So, so there you go. That's my review on the episode, and synopsis is basically what it became, because, you know, these are my notes and things. And thanks for bearing with me for these, you know, 16 plus minutes. So there you go.